Hi again, Art and I are the two old guys reviewing the Vintage Film Channel uh, Fair, what we have uh, to see in Vintage Film Channel, the old movies, the old TV shows, and today, Gary Moore show, a real classic. Yeah, it was a, actually, it was a favorite of mine growing up, uh, uh, but I never remembered, it wasn't until we started reviewing this that I realized his, his name is spelled G-A-R-R-Y Moore. Right. Uh, there's an Irish uh, dancer or musician named Gary Moore. I, I, when I wrote down the notes to look for it, I misspelled it as G A R Y Moore. Uh, but he was fascinating. He was on for like a quarter of a century, and uh, Grace has some really, really golden uh, uh, pieces of uh, of uh, his TV series of, which was of various short. There were half hours, daytime, nighttime, hour. Yeah. Uh, all over yeah, the he had been, you know. Like like a lot of early television, Gary Moore had been on radio, mm. CBS radio. He was a, a CBS radio member of the staple of the of the studio. And uh, he had worked with Jimmy Durante, had a very nice career working with Jimmy Durante for a couple of years. When television comes along, what do they do? They tap all their radio people to become television stars. And Gary Moore got a primetime variety show. And it was kind of a... He was a comedian and he was a, an announcer and he had done everything you could imagine. And so he put together a little team of people and his big sidekick was Derwood Kirby, mm -hmm. another announcer. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why don't you play this? Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, Derwood Kirby, for uh, anybody who uh, uh, doesn't uh, realize it, um, um, Gary Moore, Arthur Goffrey, a lot of them had sidekicks. Uh, but oh, most, all of them. Yeah. One, one of the most enduring relationships was uh, Derwood Kirby and Gary Moore, just like Ed McMahon and uh, Johnny Carson. You almost didn't think of the star without yeah. their their sidekick, yeah. who just absolutely was there supporting them throughout their entire yeah. uh, TV careers. But well, once you hit play, and let's watch it as we talk about uh, yeah. the Gary Moore show. Now, I got to explain to everybody, Grace captures... And 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 um, what do you call it? Saves old TV shows that she can find wherever she finds them, yeah. old movies, old films, old shorts. Um, and what she's got here is on vintagefilmchannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. She's got two clips of the Gary Moore show. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm just watching this commercial go by for deep fries, deep freeze. <laughs> this is the era. When you couldn't go more than two minutes without the announcer selling you something, right? <laughs> you know, I, I remember, I, I remember the Colgate Comedy Hour and uh, yes. Camel cigarettes or whatever it is, and th that was always part of the backdrop. Yep, Almost yep. As backdrop. you will see in, in this clip. So this clip that we're looking at is called uh, on on Vintage Film Channel. It's labeled another excellent Gary Moore show. In fact, it's only about fifteen minutes long, mm. um, but it is does give you a real good idea of what the Gary Moore show was like and what he was like. He was known for his crew cut and his bow tie and, um, and his sidekick, Derwood Kirby. By the way, do you remember, Art, the old Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoons? Sure. Where they had the Kerwood Derby? Right. Instead of, instead of Gary <laughs> Moore's sidekick, Derwood Kirby. I loved it. Uh, even then, you had to be old enough to remember who Derwood right. Kirby was. So they had uh, they had a couple of singers, and they had Derwood Kirby, and they, as the show progressed over the years, um, they brought in more actors and singers and dancers, including in many later years, Carol Burnett, who went right. on to get her own famous show. And and Art didn't he wasn't uh, Gary Moore responsible for a lot of yeah I actually I went discoveries the, but a I lot of the, stars I went to the wiki and it had uh, he basically launched or introduced Don Adams Don George Adams, yeah. Goble who it w w is sort of like a chip off the old Gary Moore comedy block yeah but very Donna, similar yeah Don Knotts what uh, Carol Burnett of course Lily Tomlin Jonathan Winters. And one thing that I did not know, and again, I did. Wa I remember watching the show. One of the things I did not know was that uh, one of his he had a feature, uh, a hidden camera thing, and that was Alan Funk's uh, candid camera 
became it was like a small bit thing that they repeated sometimes. No kidding. And then it became an, an, its entire own run, a successful run. Sure. Without fun. Well, it's called a spinoff, man. Yeah. Television is known for spinoffs. You find it something that works, make it a separate show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is what they did with Carol Burnett. And you're right, Alan Funt, Candid Camera. Anyway, this particular clip that we're looking at, it's only about 15 minutes long. And they go into a bit where um, the singer, and I can't remember his name, is in a hospital and he's supposedly being operated on. Go to uh, 644, Art. And uh, you'll see they're operating on it. It's a, it's a comedy bit while he's singing a song. And it's a cute bit. They're, uh, there's the guy in bed the theoretically singing, and they're operating. They're pulling stuff out of his stomach. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a cute bit. Uh, what can I tell you? The, um, the, the show ends, or this particular show ends, with them going into the, uh, Gary Moore going into the orchestra. Uh, so obviously there's a lot more to it than the 15 minutes or so that Grace has saved and, uh, and, and digitized for us. There's another Gary Moore clip and it's, right. it gives you a, a better idea of what his show was like because it's got his cast of characters sitting at a desk right. and it's more of a game show really. Um, but what it is, if you watch the whole thing, it's longer, it's about 20 minutes long. What it is is really a sales presentation to a new sponsor. Mm. So what they did is they, in this other clip, they played 15 minutes or so of a show, which is fun to watch. And then they, they are talking directly to the camera as if this is a sponsor. And you're going to be very pleased with sponsoring our show, blah, 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 blah. It, interesting look, both the beginning and the end of this other clip. Uh, I recommend you watch both both the Gary Moore clips that are up there, neither are full shows, but they'll, they'll give you a real good idea of uh, why he became famous. Look, he's pulling stuff out of the stomach. Go to um, 1145. And this is where after the comedy bit, um, he goes into the audience, um, which I think is just, I just want to show it. Oh, he does a commercial. They do the commercials at a drop of a hat. I love it. I love these guys. And, every, and it, it's all live. I mean, they just ran it uh, uh, live on the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was no, they didn't roll in a lot of commercials because remember, they tele, television was live in the 50s, in the late 40s and 50s. It was live. They didn't have a whole lot of um, ability. There's no, certainly no videotape. Right. So anyway, Gary Moore sits down with the uh, with the orchestra. They do a song. It was a variety show. It's a great show. And as you pointed out, um, I it was very influential. It spun off lots and lots of Yeah, stars. and appara apparently uh, he did this for 27 years, although he took a break here and there for a variety of reasons uh, before he got very ill and then he just sort of retired. But yeah. he had, before he came back for the final season, he, he said he always preferred the daytime audiences better. Because he liked uh, uh, talking to basically the uh, women at home. So he felt very yeah. comfortable with that. Uh, and his variety show. So finally, he had like a two-year break. He came back and uh, they put him back on. I remember, he had a very successful run for about 25 years. But the last two years, they put him up against Bonanza. Uh, and ben and you mean did. against against Bonanza? Against Bonanza, and, and Bonanza was on NBC. He was yeah, on CBS. He yeah. was like his last year. His last season was like a half a season. Yeah, uh, but but it, they he was replaced by the Smothers Brothers, which did no very kidding. Well. Yeah. So Sunday night, you're ready what, ready to turn on Gary Moore and up show these two guys, the Smothers Brothers. That's funny, right? Humor, have a little bit of TV history. Humor is not a, a lot different, but these were younger guys who were more sure. hip with the younger crowd, and yep. uh, they pulled up. But he had a wonderful career. Uh, he was oh. a genuinely nice guy. People really liked you, him. You know, um, interestingly enough, in between uh, the variety shows that he did over the years, he hosted What's My Line, famous mm. game show. Right. Uh, I think... I, I want to say that when he left What's My Line, Steve Allen took over. Either that Another or, or I've, got a I've Got a Secret and then 
but Steve Allen and he, I think, uh, cross paths many times. I, and then be right. I've got a secret. Yeah. I've got a secret, not uh, what's my line. Yeah. Positive way. And then he was a guest uh, on uh, shows from time to time after that. But sure. he basically was retired. I understand that he was uh, very ill for the last yeah. number of years, although uh, he and his wife had a long term uh, relationship. And I think they died uh, in their probably their 80s. Uh, Derek yeah. Kirby was like 88 or something like that. So um, well, that's, this is the end of this is the end of the video. Mm. So you can throw up your Gary Moore slide if you want. Yeah, you want. Um, okay. But I, I, I really do recommend you watch both the clips that Grace has put up there uh, to give you some idea of uh, how popular he was and the kind of silliness he did and the and the crew. You know, all of the music variety shows, even today, really follow the same pattern in the sense that there's a, a small camaraderie of uh, people who who are you know work behind the host mm. um and they do silly skits and they do music right. you know that's what a music variety show is all about but this is this is classic yeah right now, a little shout out to uh, uh grace and the vintage film channel uh she she is a scavenger and so she, she finds <laughs> bits and pieces of stuff yes okay and and she digitizes. She saves them. She digitizes them. And she, she um, converts them to high resolution. She's even working on a project now. Can we talk about her latest project? Yeah. Do we have to wait? Yeah. Do I think to... we have to wait. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, but the point is that uh, Vintage Film Channel really is a, a wonderful resource. Uh, yeah. if, you love, if you love television and movies, some of the old movies are great. So let, let Grace know that uh, you want her to continue to find uh these uh jewels uh some yep. of them literally she pulled out of a trash bin and uh, shared it with us and it brings back great memories i as i say i loved the gary moore show it was a staple when i was growing up yeah and i liked his kind of humor as i say a lot like george goble and but he was a fascinating guy uh from uh i'm sure he worked in vaudeville i don't think he was ever on broadway but he's a musician and right. uh, just an all-around nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll see you again next time when these two old guys review another uh, vintage film channel classic. But, John, not a show at this time. Okay. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.